Hello and welcome. This is Michelle Christensen of One Noteworthy Life, and in this video, I'm going to show you how you can send an email directly to a OneNote notebook and have it saved there. I'm filming in OneNote for Windows 10 on a desktop, so if your screen looks different than mine, it might be because you're using a different device or version of OneNote. Now, you might already know that OneNote is a great place to store things. You can have a wide variety of different types of files and a pretty large quantity of things and still have it all organized and accessible. What you might not know is that there are a lot of different ways you can get information into OneNote aside from just typing it in. This video is part of a playlist called Adding Things to OneNote, and that playlist shows different ways that you can get things into OneNote. That playlist will be linked in the description at the end, below and at the end of this video if you want to see more methods of getting things into OneNote. And I'll be adding to this playlist uh, as I go along. In today's video, I'm going to show you both how to set up this feature and how, how it works because you do need to do a quick setup before you can use this feature. So um, there are three interesting things I want to point out about this feature before we get into things. So the first thing I want to point out is that everybody that uses this feature sends their email to the same address, which is me at OneNote.com. And what I think is interesting about this is that it's you know really easy to remember, it's easy to share, and um, it's kind of um, just a little bit more foolproof than some other methods. I've used an email feature in other apps where they assigned you your own unique email address to which you send your message. And when you send a message to that address, your action was done. In this case, the app was a social media scheduler, so you could post a tweet by sending an email to the email address they gave you. And they warned you not to share your unique email address with anyone because if anyone did have it, they could post to your account. And comparing that app with the way OneNote has things configured uh, in the send by email, I'm much more comfortable with OneNote's method because my own personal email would have to get hacked for this to be a problem. As far as I know, I don't know of any other way that this could go awry. Now, the way the OneNote software knows where to send your email is that you set the feature up first, which we'll do later. And OneNote then recognizes where the email came from by the address. Uh, they recognize that it came from you and it goes into the notebook and section that you designated when you were setting the feature up. And that's uh, what I'm trying to show in this diagram is that when I send an email to OneNote, that's me here in the pink, it goes to the same email address that everyone else uses, which is me at OneNote. And then on the right hand side, you could see it landed in my notebook. When John, here in the blue, sends an email to me at OneNote, it lands in John's notebook. So the second thing I want to point out is that you can have more than one email address configured in this feature and have each email send to a different notebook and or section. So using the example of Bob in green at the top of the diagram, we can see that Bob has two different email addresses. Uh, he has both a regular or work email address and then a hobby email address, and they both go to different notebooks. And using two addresses brings me to the third interesting thing I want to point out, which is that you can use either the email address you use to set up your Microsoft or OneNote account or any other email address, and it does not have to be an Outlook address. So it could be Gmail, Yahoo, your company domain, or whatever other email service you might use. So let's get this set up now. I'm going to pull up the page shown at the top of your screen to set this up. And that page is onenote.com slash email to OneNote. And that'll be linked in the description if you need it. So starting on this page, I'm just going to follow the process through um, exactly as you see it on your screen. So I'm going to click the uh, step one button, which is set up email to OneNote. You may get a sign in screen like this because you're, you're configuring a feature. So I'm going to go ahead and sign in and I'll be back once I've signed in. Okay, so I have signed in and this is the page I get taken to. Um, I have two email addresses here, which I will get to in a minute, but I'm going to start with the one on the left, which is the address I have used to set up my one my OneNote account. I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to choose the location and you'll get a drop down menu here of all of your notebooks and that you can um, pick from. So that's taking a minute to load but you would get a drop down there and I have already configured this the way I want it which is that it's going to go into my demo notebook and the section I'm filming in is called email to me at OneNote. And I'm going to go ahead and save that. 
So I, I have just set the feature up. I actually already did have it set up, which is why that drop down box didn't work. But um, that's how you would set it up. Now that it's set, it, set up, let's try emailing something. So this is an email I have um, pre-populated. Um, so the subject line says test message, email to OneNote. The, in the body I have uh, a sentence that reads here is some filler text for the body of the email. In the message you see an image, it's the treetops image, and then I also have an image attached. And I filled in all of these fe uh, features of the email so that you could see how they look once I send it to OneNote. So I'm going to add the address, me at, one, me at OneNote.com, and I'm going to click Send. Then we're going to go back into the demo notebook, and I'll show you what it looks like once it shows up. Okay, so my test message has arrived, and you can see that the page, it well, first of all, you can see that it went to its own page, and that the page name is the same as the subject line I had in the email. So I'm going to go ahead and click that. And, and just FYI, the elapsed time on that was about a minute. Um, sometimes it's faster, sometimes it's slower. So we can see that the uh, page name is the subject line of that email. Here is that uh, sentence I put in the body of the email. This is the image that was in the email and then this is the attachment that I had. It actually shows the attachment um, as opposed to just showing it as a file attachment like it did in when I had the email drafted. And then it also shows you the name of the file. And then down here it has the email address it came from. So I think this is pretty useful. Um, if you got an email with all these things in it, you could send it right to OneNote. And if it's related to a project or something you're working on, or maybe it's a trip confirmation, anything like that, um, you have all the information in the email uh, in conveniently in OneNote. So I think that that is um, you know, really helpful and useful. So I want to do one more example of this because there is another feature that I want to show you before we move on. Um, during the setup process, we specified the notebook and the name of the section where we wanted this email to land. But without doing any additional setup, you can have the email land in a different section of the same notebook. So while we were on the setup page, when I was picking where I wanted the email to land, you might have noticed this message. Um, it was to the right of the screen. And it says that you can also save your email to a different section in the default notebook. That's the one I selected um, by including the at symbol followed by the section name at the end of your email subject line. They have an example of this where the subject is trip space details, and that would send to a section called trip details. So I like this feature because you can set up the feature kind of the way you want it to work most of the time. But then on occasion, if you want a specific email to go to a different section, you can do that as well. So I'm going to go and uh, we're going to test this feature out. I'm going to go back to my email and I have a second draft email all set up. And this one I didn't include all of the same, all of the features that the first one had. But I'm going to address it to me at OneNote. And in the subject line, I'm going to um, use the section called Shared Notebooks. In my demo notebook, which is where I have this configured to go, I have a section called Shared Notebooks. So let's call this Test Message. And then I have um, in the body of the email message, I did test this, and this feature worked for me whether I used the initial capitalization in the section name or not. So in my notebook, it's called Shared Notebooks with the S and the N capitalized. In my testing, I found that it worked whether I sent my message with the capital on or not. So I'm going to click Send. And once that is all uh, synced up and appears in my demo notebook, I will be back. This notebook has synced, and the test message has appeared in the section called Shared Notebooks. That's about halfway down the screen. You can see the name of it with a light green tab. It's called Shared Notebooks. And when I address my message, I put test message followed by at Shared Notebooks. So you can see that, it, again, put it on its own page. And the title is just test message because that was the title. The at Shared Notebooks was just to tell it to send it to this section. 
And then this was from the body of my email, which is the sentence about this worked whether I use the initial capitalization or not. And it also has the from address as well. So again, I think it's just a pretty useful feature. Um, if you get a lot of emails that might have material that you want to store with a project or something you're working on. So the final thing that I want to mention is that if you do want to use an email other than the one you use to set up your Microsoft account, you'll need to first add that email address to your account. I didn't include a demo of this because it's pretty straightforward and I wanted to keep the video short, but the steps are on your screen right now. You go to your profile um, and that link will be in the description if you need it. Select account info and then select add email and you'll go through a verification process where they send a numeric code to your email and then you enter the code. Once you've verified that email address, you can use it for the send to OneNote feature. Uh, of course, you'd have to set it up first and let OneNote where, know where to send emails from that address. You set that second email address up using the same process we went through for the first one. So in this initial diagram where Bob had two email addresses, this is what he would have done to be able to use this feature for those two email addresses. So that's it, how to send an email directly to your OneNote account. Once you've done the setup, it's pretty easy to use and it works pretty well. As I mentioned earlier, this video is part of a playlist called Getting Things Into OneNote. If you want to see more methods for getting things into OneNote, check the card at the end of this video for that playlist, and it'll also be linked in the description below. If you want to see more OneNote tutorials like this, as well as content on personal organization, goal setting, and planning, uh, please hit the subscribe button and let me know you like this video by hitting the like button. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day. Bye-bye.